Okay, so we're just about ready to get started. You'll see I've, uh, I've melted the ends of these lines so that they, they won't unravel. You can use uh, tape on the end as well, if you prefer. Uh, I've unlaid them and you can see they're color-coded, hopefully to make things a little bit easier for you to see. And uh, we've got a, a bit of tape here as well, uh, preventing them from unlaying. Uh, you'll notice in our, our videos we, we use, rather than, than tape, uh, we use a double constrictor hitch. And uh, the reason for that is if you're making a, a tight eye or a back splice, um, you know, where I'm trying to splice this down onto itself or make a really tight eye, this, uh, this section of tape kind of gets in the way. So I'll, I'll just spend a moment and show you how to make a, uh, a double constrictor hitch uh, using some uh, wax whipping twine. And uh, it'll form up right at the edge here and you'll be able to make a nice, uh, a nice tight eye if you need to. So to make the double constrictor, start with your hands crossed right over left. Take a hold of the, uh, the line, uncross your hands. Put them over the end of your finger. You'll see it'll make two, uh, two loops. The bit that's coming out towards you, put over the end of your finger as well. We now have three loops. Then take the middle loop, pull it out a bit, give it a twist, and put it over the end of your finger and work it up tight. Well, not really tight, but you know, just snug it up a little bit. From here, it's ready to go over the end of your over the end of your line. Uh, this would be a little bit easier to do um, with the rope intact rather than unlaid, but we can still still do it. Work it down to uh, the position that you'd like and draw it up tight. If you pull on this too tightly, it may become really difficult to undo. But uh, you know, just draw it up tight enough to prevent the line from unraveling. And uh, you can then get rid of your tape, or perhaps not even use tape to begin with. And you'll see with, uh, with that done, now it can form a very tight eye in the rope. And with that, we're basically ready to get started. 